The timeless and inspirational narrative of the Buddha's non-judgmental attitude has been passed down through generations. Siddhartha Gautama, who later became known as the Buddha, is one of the most revered figures in the history of philosophy and spirituality. His teachings have touched countless lives and continue to offer profound insights into the human condition. At the heart of the Buddha's wisdom lies the practice of non-judgmental awareness, a fundamental concept that encourages individuals to embrace compassion, understanding and self-reflection rather than judgment and criticism. In the following narrative, we will unfold a story that illustrates the transformative power of non-judgmental awareness and its potential to bring peace, wisdom, and enlightenment to those who choose to follow this noble path. In a tranquil monastery nestled amidst lush mountains, a new monk named Saman arrived one bright morning. The monastery was a haven of serenity and wisdom, surrounded by pristine nature. The air was filled with the sweet scent of blooming flowers, and the sound of a gently babbling brook added to the monastery's peaceful ambience. The monks there were known for their wisdom and their practice of non-judgmental awareness. Brother Ananda, one of the elder monks, approached Saman with a warm smile. Welcome, young one, he said. This monastery is a place of serenity and wisdom. We're delighted to have you here. Saman, feeling a sense of awe and serenity, returned the smile. I am grateful to be here, Brother Ananda. I've heard of the tranquility and wisdom that pervade this place, and I'm eager to learn from all of you. As days turned into weeks, it became clear that Salmon had a tendency to judge and criticize his fellow monks. His exuberance began to wane as he often observed their actions and behaviors, finding faults where others saw none. His critical comments, although well-intentioned in his mind, began to cast a shadow over the serenity of the monastery. One evening, as the monks gathered for their evening meditation, Saman whispered to Brother Kasapa, a wise and patient monk, Did you notice how Brother Ananda hesitated during the chanting today? He is usually so composed. Brother Kasapa, with a gentle and understanding tone, responded, Saman, our path is one of compassion and understanding. We mustn't be quick to judge our brothers. They too are on their journey, just as we are. Saman nodded though his inner skepticism remained. The seeds of criticism had taken root in his mind. The head monk of the monastery, Venerable Sujato, was known far and wide for his wisdom and compassion. He observed the growing disharmony within the monastery caused by Salmon's critical attitude. He knew that it was time to impart a valuable lesson. One morning, he summoned Salmon to his quarters. Salmon, he began. I've noticed that you have a gift for observation, but your critical judgments are like thorns in the garden of our community. Saman, with a mixture of humility and guilt, lowered his head. Venerable Sujato, I'm sorry. I didn't realize the impact of my judgments. Venerable Sujato, his eyes filled with compassion, continued, We all have our shortcomings, but it's our duty to help one another grow. I want to help you see the importance of non-judgmental awareness. Venerable Sujato led Saman to a serene stream that flowed through the monastery grounds. He handed him a small, ornate cup with intricate designs. Saman, I want you to fill this cup with water from the stream. Saman, accepting the cup with reverence, knelt by the stream and extended it into the water. However, as he attempted to scoop water, he quickly realized that the cup had a subtle crack at the bottom. Water leaked through his fingers, and the cup remained empty. Frustration etched his face. Venerable Sujato watched him patiently and then said, Salmon, your mind is like this cup. No matter how much wisdom and compassion you encounter, it will all leak away if your mind is filled with judgment. Saman looked up at his teacher, a glimmer of understanding dawning in his eyes. Over the following days, Saman pondered the lesson learned at the stream. He began to see the truth in Venerable Sushato's words, recognizing the corrosive nature of his judgmental tendencies. One day, he approached the head monk with a sincere heart. Venerable Sujato, Saman admitted, 
I see now that my judgmental mind is like the cracked cup. I wish to change, to be free from this burden. Venerable Sujato smiled warmly. You've taken the first step, Saman. Now, let us embark on this journey of transformation together. The monk and the head monk spent countless hours in meditation and dialogue, discussing the importance of compassion and non-judgmental awareness. Saman's perspective shifted as he started to internalize these teachings. Under the guidance of Venerable Sujato, Saman began to transform his mindset. He practiced mindfulness and self-compassion, gradually letting go of his critical tendencies. As the weeks passed, he felt a newfound sense of inner peace and acceptance. One evening during a communal meal, Saman observed Brother Kasapa's serene demeanor and said, Brother Kasapa, your presence brings calm to our monastery. I appreciate the wisdom you share. Brother Kasapa, his eyes reflecting contentment, smiled and replied, Saman, your words are kind and gentle. It is heartwarming to see the change in you. Remember, our practice is not about perfection, but about progress. As Saman continued to transform, he reconnected with the other monks in the monastery. The atmosphere in the monastery began to change, and the community once again embraced harmony and serenity. During a morning meditation session, Saman approached Brother Ananda, who had been the subject of his initial criticisms. Brother Ananda, I apologize for my earlier judgments. I now see the beauty in your serenity. Brother Ananda nodded graciously. Saman, you have learned a profound lesson. We all stumble on our path, but it's through understanding and compassion that we find our way back to the light. The bonds of brotherhood and mutual respect were renewed as the community united in their shared commitment to compassion and understanding. With his newfound wisdom, Saman continued his journey in the monastery, practicing non-judgmental awareness and applying the lesson he had learned in his daily life. The peaceful atmosphere in the monastery prevailed and the community thrived, united in their shared commitment to compassion and understanding. Saman's transformation served as a reminder that the path to enlightenment required inner change and acceptance of others on their own journeys. The monastery remained a sanctuary of serenity and wisdom where compassion and non-judgmental awareness continued to flourish. 